Hi there, I'm Kiki. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And today I'd like to do my very first tag video. So I was tagged by Styled by Jess. Hi Jess, if you're watching, because she was tagged by Rami Rofi. Hey, hey Ron, and also Danny O, who made a, or who both separately made videos about their own road to purse piece. So let's get started. Do 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 do. Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do do. Ding ding. All right, so I'll link Jess, Ron's, and Danny's YouTube channels in my description box below. Please go check them out if you haven't already. They've been doing YouTube in the luxury sphere for much, much, much longer than I have, and have a ton of videos for you guys to enjoy. So please do check them out. I believe the rules of this tag are that you get to keep your current bag collection in its entirety, but you only get to add three more bags of your choosing, three luxury bags, and then that's it. You've reached quote purse piece. But before we get into that, I really want to talk a little bit about what purse piece kind of means to me or my thoughts on that term in general. I think that the term purse piece has come up really quite a lot, especially in more recent years in the luxury purse community on YouTube, especially because I think a few years ago, especially there was a huge trend of giant hauls and unboxings and rapid selling and then um, culling of collections, etc., etc. And so people are talking about you know, purse piece, like what bag or which bags would you have in your collection and then be completely satisfied never to buy another bag again. I think that I come to this from a very different um, background or experience than a lot of the other YouTubers. I mean, first off, I've only been doing YouTube for about a month and a half. <laughs> so very, very much new and green to this. I've had done I've done YouTube before in the past, but certainly not about luxury bags or anything like that. Um, but I digress. My perspective is different because I've noticed in the purse community, a lot of um, you guys buy and sell bags. And in my experience anyway, I've never ever uh, sold a single one of my luxury items, not a single bag, not a single shoe, bracelet, earring, you name it. I just will not or have not at this point sold any of my collection. Ding ding! That's not to say that I'm judging anyone at all for selling or buying pre-loved bags because I've certainly bought a lot of bags on the pre-loved market myself. I just personally don't think of bags as an investment in any sense. As in, I think that if you're to make a true investment, that would be real estate, stocks, etc, etc, and not handbags so much, unless you have truly enough volume that you could create enough um, income or profit from that. But that's probably not possible for most people's collections anyway. So I come to the purse, I guess, community thinking of bags and luxury goods more of a hobby or a whole process maybe um so i enjoy the research the learning of the fashion house the bag itself the history how the bags are made the lever etc my mom actually passed away a few years ago um very young and so I think that also changed my perspective and how I think about my life as well as my remaining time and what I do with my disposable income or fun money, whatever you want to call it. I think after evaluating what makes me happy, honestly, shopping, buying purses, not constantly, but it's definitely a huge element of joy, I think, in my life. And I don't ever intend actually to, to stop. So purse piece to me really only means kind of more, I think this was a comment on one of Jess's videos, purse pause. Like at the moment I can be content with my collection, but there's always going to be something I might want to add. Maybe one day when I have so many bags, I may, may sell a few. I don't know, that's never happened so far. Um, and then if hopefully I am lucky enough, 
And then one day, if I'm lucky enough to reach the ripe old age where I really, really need to、um, organize my state and my will even more carefully than I've done so now, I would always ask my daughter, or if I have any more children, which bags they might want to keep for sentimental reasons. And if there are other bags, then I could always just sell it in an estate sale or let them decide what they want to do with it or just have a discussion together. So I haven't really worried about culling down to like a certain X number of bags by like. A certain age,、um, at all. Some of my really good friends, who are just a few years older than me, have already decided that they're going to be traveling the world once their kids finish high school. And I find that to be such a great idea as well. My husband and I are thinking about that.、Um, and in that case, I still, I don't think, would call or sell all my bags anyway to reach some kind of purse piece. We would always have to have a a base somewhere, and I believe I would keep. Most of my bags there, and perhaps just bring a few with me on my travels. But that's still long ways away in the future, and who knows what the future holds. But my point is, I I don't truly believe in purse peace. I believe there's purse pause that you can be happy with your current collection. But as a lover of you know luxury goods, bags, fashion. I don't really think there is a point in time as long as you're still living that you're completely done, right? That's what I think anyway. With that being said, though, let me get back into the topic of the road to purse piece. Out of the three bags that I would be happy with to reach my so-called purse piece, or in my case, purse pause, I think for a good long time, the first bag would definitely be a mini Kelly, in I believe gold with gold. I'm just really particular. I am kind of boring. Also, I love, love, love my neutrals, especially in recent years, my warm brown tones. So I think gold with gold hardware or even rose gold hardware would be absolutely stunning. Whenever I、um, could land on that, the thing is, I want to get it from the boutique, which I know is even harder because, or else I would have already bought it honestly on the resale market. And I've considered; I've been very, very close to doing that. Quite a few times actually,、um, but just never pulled the trigger just because I think the resale price on the Mini Kellys is a little bit silly, and and I'd rather really have that in store experience. Just that's my my personal preference. This is totally a topic for another video, but I personally enjoy my Hermes journey just because I don't think of it so much as a journey. I just like buying things at Hermes. They suit my lifestyle and my tastes and aesthetics, so it's never been very difficult for me to purchase things there.、Um, and so, yeah, if I could get a gold on gold mini Kelly, that would be my first choice on my road to purse piece. And the leather I would prefer is probably chev, and if not chev, maybe、um, another more harder kind of durable one like ever color, something like that. My second choice for the road to purse piece is also Hermes. I'm sorry, there's a huge Hermes bias. On my side,、um, is probably a Kelly Twenty Five Retourne、um, in a gold on gold again. I'm sorry, boring, boring, boring me.、Um, but it could also be another kind of brown, warm brown tone, like a、um, what's that called, Cabot Caracho, or maybe a Chai, or even like a very nice like trench, a much lighter kind of warm toned nude.、Um, that would be wonderful. Uh, and if I could not get that one, then a Constance eighteen,、uh, I think, gold on gold would also be a great second choice, one or the other. They're not really the same at all, but I already have a Kelly, and I don't have a Constance in my collection, so I believe that would definitely fill gap. See here, I can't choose just three, <laughs> but okay, let's just say okay. Let's just go with the the Kelly, the Kelly Return Returne, and twenty five. And that would put my last choice. Okay, I'm totally cheating for this whole thing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, you know, I'm gonna blame it on mom brain. I can't count or something like that. That's my get out of jail free card. My last one, I guess, would push the Constance eighteen to the third place as my third bag to reach purse piece. But to be very honest, um. <laughs> 
I'm not sure if I want it in 18 or 24 and I'm not and I, there's also as I'm saying this I'm already like a couple bags are popping up in my head I'm like oh I'd love a mini Lindy I'd love a Picotin touch or maybe a, um, a Lindy mini Lindy touch one of my buddies one of my really really good friends she has one and it's absolutely gorgeous uh but yeah okay you know what let's be strong for the sake of this tag let's say a a Constance 18. I think that would fill a nice gap in my collection. It does really well as a crossbody and as a shoulder. So I think it has that flexibility. I think it would be really great for um, a bit of travel. So going around, you know, different kinds of cities for just, you know, obviously when my daughter's a little bit older or unless I'm carrying a separate diaper bag, which I always do anyway, um, that would be a great choice, I think. So I think everyone's perspective and background is so different that um, purse piece is something or sought after for different reasons by different people based on their lived experiences. Some people may think that the physical aspect of luxury goods or any items really uh, can be really draining on you mentally and physically because it takes up a space in your house. It takes up a space in your mind, right? That you have to keep track of these things, keep it insured blah, 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 make sure they're safe. And believe it or not, I'm no stranger to this. I've actually read all of Marie Kondo's books and I was extreme, I did the, her extreme purging many times actually, a few years ago especially. And I don't like to actually keep items that I don't love or don't spark joy, the terminology that she likes to use. Um, but I think for some reason my bags are the exception, I think because they spark so much joy for me, um, whereas other items don't, and so I don't tend to spend money on them, or I don't collect them. I don't really like to have any clutter in my house. I like to have it very organized because it makes me anxious if there's clutter. But I think, in my mind at the very least, and I'm sure it's similar for a lot of you guys, the act of researching, learning about fashion houses, and different collections is really 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 fun to me it's my hobby i mean i have many many hobbies too many honestly <laughs> but um i enjoy doing it and i can't imagine one day just getting the last bag and going okay well you know clap clap all done never gonna have to buy another bag again kind of thing right like that's just not gonna happen for me, I don't think. I think there might be a point where I pause and I've done this multiple times in the past where I don't buy bags for multiple months, if not years on end. And then suddenly there's that bar bag that sparks my love again and I go get it, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's kind of my perspective. I think as you live your collection and it evolves and you evolve, and so that's perfectly natural. Um, but to think that suddenly like you'll just stop full stop, I think is a little bit, a little bit extreme. At the end of the day, however, I think that bags, luxury goods, etc., those are all just material goods. They, you can't take them with you to the grave, right? I think the most important things are definitely your loved ones, memories, um, experiences and travel that you have with them together. Those things are more important. And if you had to choose one or the other, if you're in a situation where you can't have both, in my case, I would absolutely vote or um, encourage choosing memories over material goods. I know what it's like to lose a loved one and there's nothing replacing that or the memories with them. Having said that, I'm in a position where I'm so fortunate. I don't have to choose, I can have both. But I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys believe that purse piece exists or maybe purse pause? Please share your thoughts. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you have any suggestions or questions for me, please leave them in the comment box below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Janet. Thanks for watching. Come again. Bye-bye.